Hello everybody, I am Dr. Jayati Mitra. So we are going to learn about explosive story. I am assistant professor from the department of chemistry. So let's learn about classification of explosives and thereafter their preparation. Okay. So how are explosives classified? Classification of explosives. Okay. How are the explosives classified? As we all know, explosives are called viscotec in Hindi. Okay. So, how are explosives classified and what is the definition of explosives? So, as we have already learned that an explosive is a mixture or a small chemical molecule or chemical substance which when comes under the influence of any thermal or mechanical shock, then it explodes. That means it undergoes rapid chemical transformation and oxidation reaction or exothermic oxidation reaction to produce products of greatly increased volume okay with enormous amount of release of energy so this is the basic definition of an explosive so this small molecule how it explodes what is the chemical composition of these explosive molecules for that we will go towards the preparation of the molecules before that we will go for the types of explosive molecules so explosive molecules are categorized in these categories first category we call it as primary initiating explosives okay primary initiating explosives these are also known as detonators the second category of explosives we call it as low explosives okay this is further classified under two categories low explosives are categorized under military explosives okay also categorized under industrial explosives okay military explosives means the explosives which are used for the military purpose in defense and all and industrial explosives which are used for the industrial purpose and the third category this is the first category this is the second category and this is the third category third category of explosives are high explosives various high explosives are also used for the industrial purpose also and for military purpose also but high explosives are further classified under single compound explosive second binary explosives third plastic explosives and the fourth category is dynamites fourth category is dynamite means high explosives are further categorized single compound explosive binary explosives plastic explosives and dynamite now we will move about the primary initiating explosives these are also known as detonators because they are highly sensitive molecules that means they explode in come when come in a shock or small friction or small mechanical or thermal shock means small shock they are highly sensitive that's why primary or initiating explosive they initiate the explosion when they come under a small or very tiny shock waves then they explode and because they are highly sensitive so we can take the examples of some primary or initiating explosives for example ddnp di as a dinitro you know tetracycline tetra c okay lead azide mercury fulminate okay these are the examples of primary initiating explosives now low explosives for example gunpowder gunpowder also it is known as black powder okay 
और नाइट्रोसेंटिनोस दीज आर दो एक्सप्रेसिव एंड वेन वी कम अक्रॉस द हाई एक्सप्रेसिव सिंगल कंपाउंड एक्सप्रेसिव वी कैन टेक द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ टी एन टी फ्राई नाइट्रो टोलिन आर टी एक्स रिसर्च डेवलपमेंटल एक्सप्रेसिव पीईटीएन पेंटा एक्टिडॉल डेट्रा नाइट्रेट ओके एंड अमोनियम नाइट्रेट एन दीज आर सिंगल Binary as you all know, mixture of other explosives with TNT. TNT plus other explosives. These are called binary explosives. For example, ammonal, amatol, pentolite. Torpedoes, etc. These are binary explosives. Plastic explosive means high explosives plus wax or oil. These are called plastic explosives because of wax and oil they have plastic nature. That's why high explosives. These high explosives they have combination with wax and oil they form the plastic explosives. And dynamites can be further classified into two types: straight chain dynamite. straight chain dynamites and blasting dynamites blasting dynamites which are used for excavating holes in the mountains for construction of dams and tunnels and all okay when tunnels are constructed for the passage of the train then blasting dynamites are used okay similarly straight chain dynamites are used in the roadways and excavating the earth okay now we will go for the preparation of some of these examples these are the examples we will go for the preparation now clear how these explosives are prepared and these have a wide applications both constructive applications as well as destructive application destructive means during the time of war okay and constructive means construction of dams Tunnels and dislodging of rocks, breaking down of poles. These are the constructive applications. First of all, we will go for lead as an PB and three two twice. This is lead as an. We are studying in the primary explosive. How it is prepared? It is prepared from sodium and lead. This is. Sodium azide, okay. Sodium azide is further reacted with lead acid. Okay. Then what we will get? We'll get lead azide and sodium azide. Sorry. First of all, we'll get lead azide. Sodium acid thereafter. Okay, then two. This is sodium and this is acetate. We we'll get sodium acetate and lead acid. So lead acid is the explosive. Okay, another explosive we will go for. We will go for. DDNP, diazo dinitrophenol. Okay, this is known as diazo dinitrophenol. Okay, now it is prepared from picramic acid. For example, we will take the picramic acid. Okay, this is the picramic acid. Now, picramic acid is further diazotized. 
ओके डायोटाइजेशन रिजल्ट से एनओ टू एनओ टू ओ एच एंड एन टू सी एल ओके देर आफ्टर वी विल गेट द डाई एज अ डाई नाइट्रो फिनो दैट मीन्स
developmental x stands for exclusive also it is known as cyclonic that means cyclo trimethyline trinitroamine okay it is prepared from hexamethyl tetraamine okay hexamethyl ch2 whole 6 hexa methylene tetra amine this is nitrated okay nitration of hexa methylene tetra amine under those formation of cyclonite ch2 and no2 whole thrice this is rds what is called cyclo cyclo trimethyline tri methyline trinitro amine okay cyclo trimethyline trinitro amine or it is called cyclonite or rdx okay and what is released ammonia nitrate is released as well as three hcho is released okay plus ammonia nitrate plus three formaldehyde hcho we got three hcho these are released with rdx okay in the preparation of rdx thereafter we will go for the preparation of penta alkyl tetra nitrate rdx also rapidly used in the as a high explosive volatile okay now we will go for the preparation of petn last petn what is petn penta erythritol tetra nitrate okay how it is prepared it is prepared from formaldehyde and acetaldehyde acetaldehyde means ch3 cho we can write acetaldehyde as c this is ch3 and cho okay ch3 cho plus formaldehyde hcho okay it undergoes aldol condensation okay in presence of caoh whole twice okay then it forms c cho c cho and all the three h is replaced by ch2oh ch2oh and ch2 ch2oh okay afterwards it undergoes cross canizaros reaction cross canizaros reaction okay that means hcho again then it forms penta erythritol ch2oh 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 and CH2OH. Okay, this is penta one, two, three, four, five. Erythritol. Erythritol. All OH, OH, OH. Penta erythritol. Now penta erythritol is further 
350 degree centigrade with 95 percent. अच्छा नो 95 percent nitric acid means nitration in presence of nitric acid at 50 degree centigrade temperature. That it forms CEPN. CH2O NO2 CH2O NO2 CH2O NO2 and CH2O NO2 This is PEPN and explosive Penta Eltritol Tetranitrate NO2 and O NO3 1, 2, 3, 4 4 NO3 nitrate groups Okay, penta alkidol and tetra nitrate, PET. It is also an explosive. It is a single compound, high explosive, and also used with binary explosives and plastic explosives. So, for today, it's enough. Thank you. We'll go for the applications later. Thank you.